Hello everyone, I greet you all depending on the time you are coming across this video. My people, Kabiesi's father more than anyone there is in Kabiesi's life, he is the one that has been trying his possible best to make sure that Queen Naomi fits in in the palace. Because amongst everyone in the palace, he is actually the only person that is being truthful about wanting Queen Naomi back in the palace. Every other person where they talk say they want Queen Naomi back, they are all lying about it. So Kabi AC, he has been trying to make everyone see the value in Queen Naomi, just like his father. Yes, his father is actually the one that even made it possible for Kabi AC to look at the direction of bringing Queen Naomi back. But now, Kabi AC, he is lost in his decision making. He is lost in finding solution to his problem because since he has a lot of women, it has multiplied his problem in the palace. It has multiplied Kabi AC's worry in the palace. He is always worrying about what to do, how to save his marriage with Queen Naomi, what he will have to do to forfeit his marriage with that of the Oluwis. Yes, with that, with the Oluwis them, how he is to forfeit his marriage to them and uh, focus on Queen Naomi. And his father, just like always, he had to provide solution at the right time. He provided long-lasting solution for Kabi AC and Queen Naomi over the Oluwis them where they for inside palace. Kabi AC's father is always siding with Queen Naomi because Queen Naomi is the only person that has shown that she actually cares about Kabi AC. She is the only one that has ever showed Kabi AC love. The only one that has ever made Kabi AC understand that some certain things going on in the palace, it has been getting so tensed up because of a lot of mistakes that they have made already. But Kabi AC's father, he has now decided that he will not stop until Queen Naomi is happy again because Queen Naomi, she equally wants to be in the palace. Queen Naomi equally wants for things to be better in the palace, just that these Oluwis, they have a way of ruining everything good that is coming to Kabi Esi's way. Yes, they have their way of ruining everything. So Kabi Esi's father, he said what Queen Naomi must do is to try as much as possible, no matter what, support Kabi Esi in anything that he is doing, even if what he is doing is opposite of what she was expecting, expecting him to do, that she will have to try very, very hard to make sure she accepts him the way he is that they are working towards a solution which is going to be a long-lasting one. Kabi Esi himself, he has agreed that these Oluwis, they've done a lot of things that Kabi Esi is not so proud of. And Kabi Esi is saying that he will definitely make them pay for it all. He will definitely make them pay for the drama, for the trouble for the controversy, everything they've contributed in the palace to ruin Kabi AC, Kabi AC will definitely make them pay for it. So Kabi AC, he is uh, supporting the motion of his father, intervening because he knows his father understands everything so much more than any other person. So if anyone is to handle this issue the right way, it is definitely Kabi Esi's father that can handle everything. So he said to Queen Naomi that a lot of trouble has been going on. A lot of them are troubled over the way some certain things been they occur for inside palace. That he understands that for sure, but what they still do not get is why they have allowed all this trouble to affect them all. Yes, why they have allowed everything 
to affect them all in the palace. Because there is no way to justify the current situation of things in the palace. Kabiesi's father, he just wants Queen Naomi to have great time. He just wants Mama Tadenikawo to be respected. But these Oluwis, they have all refused. They've all refused to accept Queen Naomi. They've all refused to let Queen Naomi have peace of mind. But what exactly is their reason for it? They've not given us enough reason over why they are so ashamed. But Kabi Esi's father, he said he wouldn't bother himself anymore because the solution that they are working on is definitely going to be for the best. That with Naomi, she should fear no more. Yes, she should fear no more because based on the new plan that they've drafted currently, yes, based on the new plan that they are ready. As a matter of fact, the king himself is ready to send the Olu wisdom out of the palace because they do not deserve to be there. He has decided. So Queen Naomi should just believe him since it is coming from him. She should just believe because all her trouble are finally going to come to an end. All the trouble, all those things we've been they stress her out about the Oluwis. It is all finally going to come to an end. So whatever the Oluwis are saying currently, whatever the peop whatever the people the open mouth talk about KBC, Queen Naomi shouldn't allow it to bother her at all. Because all the trouble with this Olu is been they come, be they bring enter palace. Each and every one of them. They are already losing ground. They are already losing their stays already in the palace. They are already losing support from people where they where been they support them before. So that's actually the right time for them to strike back. Yes, it is the right time for them to strike back. So we know, say, all this one will be they go on right now. Kabi Esi's father is trying his possible best to support Queen Naomi. Yes. They are going to suffer because... You see, all the trouble that KBAC is trying to get over with concerning the Oluwis. His father is the only person that happens to be serious enough. Yes, his father is the only person that is serious, that actually wants for him to get solution that he's looking for. Not those people where they claim say them they support them they support KBAC, they won't support KBAC, but they will not give him a reasonable advice concerning the women in the palace. So his father, he is so eager for them to start executing the plan already. So that these Oluwis will just live for good. Yes, yeah, so that they will all leave Queen Naomi alone for good. Queen Naomi doesn't need all of this stress from the women. She doesn't need any of this stress, any of this drama for, from any of these women. So if Kabi Esi cannot handle this issue the right way, if he cannot step up his game, since his father has already gone out of his way to contribute to the return of Queen Naomi, it is now left for KBAC to up his game to make sure that each and every one of these trouble that keeps escalating in the palace, that he handles it amicably. Yes, the Oluwis, they must know that what they did in the palace, that 
it is unforgivable. So it's left for KBAC to make them understand that. Yes, my people, now so we take the hear of this matter. I will take the say and make one follow us reason. Down the comment below. See you now for another to read. Bye bye.